we learn that in the Holy Bible, the Holy Torah, there's different ways how to buy, to acquire an object. Some object you buy with money. Some by pulling them or uplifting them. The Holy Torah, the main way to acquire it is by yoke. Effort in the Holy Torah. Without yoke and effort, you're not going to be able to acquire it. And this is exactly what Rashi teaching us in the Pasuk. If you're going to follow, if you're going to walk in my laws. And Rashi said, you should be indulged under yak of the Holy Torah. Put your effort in it in order to guard and keep. There's many, many problems in the world and many problems going on Klal Israel Bar Minan. The key to the, all the blessing in the universe is yok in the Holy Torah. Every second of the day, as it says in our parasha, if you're going to walk, follow my laws, and keep my holy commandments, and you should do them, then I'm going to give rain in the right time, season, and the land going to grow everything unbelievably. You're going to eat your bread and be satisfied, and there's going to be peace in the land. There is unbelievable rain of sustain that Hashem want to bring upon us, rain of blessing, and it's ain't aim to stay in heaven. All the blessings are created in order to reach us, but we need to open the main valve. And the key, as we mentioned before, is yoke in the Holy Torah and fulfilling the mitzvah, the commandments. There was once, many years ago, a meeting of the rabbis. One of the more uh, modern Jews got up and he claimed, in this time, we need to be a little bit more flexible with the mitzvot. Certain mitzvot. And when the rabbi asked him, what do you mean exactly? He explained that we are in a war situation. Time of war right now. Many women, we don't know what happened to their husband and their way to a chalitza, etc. That's why right now there is a place and room to cancel this mitzvah. Rabbi Tzvi Rabinovich, Zichon Levracha, answering, wow, very, very interesting. But I don't think that the place to speak about your proposal is here in the gathering of the rabbis. In two weeks from now, there's going to be a gathering of the biggest doctors in the country. We need to speak with them. The modern Jew said, I don't understand what the connection to the doctors, to this concept that we're speaking about. And Rabbi Tzvi answered him, this mitzvah of Chalitza is required only after the death of the husband. If the doctor is going to be able to cancel death from the world, there's not going to be any problem or need for this mitzvah. This guy was shocked. He said, Rabbi, I don't get it. Life and death is in the hand of Hashem. What are you talking about? It's not in the hands of the doctors. The rabbi laughed and he said, all the mitzvot was given by Hashem. Who's going to dare try to cancel any one of them? Sometimes it could be hard. Could be harsh. Tight. And then it's very easy, unfortunately, to many people, to be compromising on the learning of the Torah, fulfilling the Torah. But a person who's living and understanding the Torah is not some kind of adding thing for life. Torah, it is life. And without Torah, there's no life. We cannot cancel our effort and yoke of learning Torah and fulfilling the mitzvot. In the Sefer, Noam Siach, he brought a story. Two fishermen's friend went to fish together. One of the guys, the fisherman, he just saw a very awkward thing. His friend, all the big fish he caught, released them back to the ocean and he kept only the smaller fishes. The thing repeated once after, again and again and he was not able to hold himself and he asked his friend, I, I, I don't get you, what's going on here? 
the big fish, you're releasing and you're keeping the small fish? Are you crazy? And, and the guy told him, his friend, in our house, we got only small pan. There's no room for big fish. So I'm releasing them. The other fisherman start laughing and he said, you're not missing any big pan. You're missing the faith and believe that you're going to be able to get a bigger pan. Bottom line, you're lazy. And that's exactly what Rashi told us. If you're going to follow my laws, that means you're going to be under the yoke of the Holy Torah. Only by that, living the Torah every second of the day and understanding that this is the entire life and purpose of a Jew, we're going to be able actually to live in faith, true faith, not become lazy and cancel Torah for everything. And by that only, we're going to be able to reach and achieve and get the entire blessing that Hashem promised Klal Israel. Nachat Ruach Klal Israel, Parashat Bechukotai. Don't be lazy because you are the guy who's going to miss all the blessing. Nachat Ruach.